Hey everybody, Chelsea here for episode 25 of Multifaceted. This is also part five of November's manifesting journey, which I'm wrapping up today. And this is going to be a bit of a, a shorter episode of Multifaceted because I am hopping off and then jumping into the Comeback Queen for day one of the roadmap to your next level comeback. I planned back-to-back -back lives for today, which is exciting because I'm just really in this, well, and just as this, the topic of, of today's post is just really in this excitement of receiving this revelry of all of the beautiful things that have been happening over the last couple of weeks. It's just been such a remarkable moment in time and I'm so grateful. And of course, we've been talking about manifesting this whole month. We've gone through a five-step process in this journey and it's been very exciting. I'm going to do a recap of everything that we've talked about and then I'll share a little bit more about step five, part five. Hey, you guys, which is happening today. And oh, I am literally right in the vibes of receiving, feeling like I want to throw a party. It's just there's been some incredible things that have been happening over the last couple of weeks. I've been following along with these steps as I've been sharing them. And for those of you who have been following along, I'd love to hear how things are going for you as well. But this process does very magical things. <laughs> um, and I'm just, as I mentioned, just really right in the moment of receiving it. It's been, the last two weeks have just been incredible. The last three or four weeks, um, you know, just with manifesting one of the last spots in this upcoming book that's coming out in January, Jaguar Medicine manifesting um, an incredible new appearance of, of um, an incredible person in my life that has um, all sorts of, it's made all sorts of, I can't even really talk about it, it's just been incredible. All sorts of incredible things have come out of this and it's all just been from really just being in this process. So I'm gonna share what the five steps are. And again, we're going to highlight step five because this is the first day that I've been describing it. And then I'm gonna run and hop over to the Comeback Queen for day one of the roadmap to your next level comeback. If you'd like to join me there and you're not already in that group, tag me in the comments below and I'll add you right away. We are kicking off with day one of this free five-day masterclass that's taking place in the Comeback Queen Facebook group. All right, but first of all, just a recap of this five-step manifesting process that I've been sharing every Monday here on Multifaceted over the month of November. We started with step one, which was all about moving the energy, starting to create space in your life, starting to clear out whether it's a physical or digital or emotional area in your life that you feel like it, you know, could use a little bit of energy movement. So for me, a couple of things that I did over the last couple of weeks was even just as simple as clearing off the desktop on my laptop. That area can get very cluttered. Of course, also just clearing out specific areas in your home. This isn't something that needs to be, you know, your entire life your entire physical space, just choose one place for yourself. The next one, step two, was really all about dreaming and allowing yourself to open up to and envision from a place of gratitude for what you already have in your life, from a place of safety. <laughs> um, sorry, I just... <laughs> I just got a message that distracted me a little bit. Um, anyway, <laughs> feeling safe to dream, feeling safe to create from a place of knowing that anything that you know may have held you back in the past, anything that you may have been told, any beliefs about yourself and about what you know you feel is possible for yourself 
just really starting to work through anything that might be holding you back in that way. And I did share that this might be a space where you might need a little bit of support with this. If you're noticing that, you know, if you get to the point where you're trying to envision and create something that you desire for yourself and there's doubts coming up, there's, you know, beliefs about what's possible coming up that are holding you back, then this is, you know, an opportunity to bust through those and to challenge those. All right, step three. It's really starting to operate as if it's already here, you know, from a place of gratitude with what you already have, but it's just how you're being. Whatever it is that you're desiring to manifest or create in your life, it's just already being, acting as if, behaving as if it's already here. Step four is about getting out of your head and following what feels good, taking action from a place that feels good, feel good action so that you can move forward from a place that, you know, again, you're not dragging your feet. It doesn't feel really overwhelming. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It feels pleasurable. And step five, which as I said, I'm literally doing this right here in the moment, just receiving with revelry, just really being in the experience of and noticing and appreciating what's coming in in the moment. And, you know, we often want things to go really fast. We want to get to a place. We want to, you know, experience things really, really quickly. Hey, Ula, how are you? And from that place, we're not really appreciating the moment, but by really noticing the incredible things that are coming into your life that are showing up incrementally or in smaller ways, but also just receiving the beauty that's around you right in this moment, everything that's showing up in your life, everything that's around you in nature that is just is effortlessly, receiving that by just appreciating it, by enjoying it, by acknowledging the presence of all of the incredible things. And then when the really, I'm going to get emotional talking about this, when the really incredible things show up, just whew, so much gratitude. <laughs> and, and just really whew, just being in the moment of knowing that things can change in an instant. Things can happen. You know, if you've been struggling for a long time, sometimes it's just making these incremental or subtle changes in the moment. It's just really looking at, at how, how you're being right in the moment and how you can possibly just shift. One of the most powerful things I learned over the last couple of weeks, and I've shared this as we've been talking about this, is just really all about no matter where it is, and we're going to be really talking about this in the roadmap to your next level comeback, which is starting in 45 minutes, is really all about looking at, at where we are right now and loving it, regardless of the circumstances. We tend to resist what it is that we're trying to move away from. And even with the roadmap, as we're building a map to a new destination, if we're hating on the place that we're at, that you are here moment on the map, it's actually going to slow us down. It's going to create drag. That resistance is what's holding us back. So it's really about just opening up to love of where you are right now, of what is right now. And it can be hard to really be in appreciation when there's so much insanity going on in the world, but just really finding things that you can love about where we are at right now, about where you are at right now. Because even though it might not be where you desire to stay, by loving it, by appreciating it, you're releasing the resistance that's been keeping you there in the first place. So that's what I learned this week, and it's very powerful. I learned it from a beautiful woman named Melanie Ann Lair. 
and so grateful for her incredible information. It absolutely has been inspiring my work since coming into her world early 2021. So as I mentioned, this is wrapping up our five part series for multifaceted for the month of November, starting next week. Starting in December, we'll be on a whole new topic and I'll be sharing what that is shortly. But right now I am jumping off to move over to the Comeback Queen so that I can kick off this free five day masterclass, the roadmap to your next level comeback. If you are someone who identifies as a queen and you desire to join us within that group, just let me know in the comments or send me a message and I will pop you in. We're going live Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time for a five day class course journey on really building the map. And I've given away here in this, in this um, multifaceted live, I've given away really what the first step is, but we're gonna be talking about it in much greater depth and detail over there inside the Comeback Queen. So let me know if you'd like to join. I'd love to see you in there and it's gonna be a beautiful week. Wishing you an incredibly magical week. If you haven't watched these episodes, the five part series is available on YouTube, on my channel, you can find the link in the bio. And if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to have a greater understanding of or receive any more information on, or if there's anything you'd like to see a future multifaceted topic on, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. So much love. And I'll see you again here next Monday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Bye.